Hi, Dr. Magaziner for my part two of my five-point plan to help to protect you against COVID-19 and the coronavirus. I had previously spoken about the food and nutritional aspect of things, and now today I want to talk to you about the lifestyle modifications. And these are very important as well. Now, most of us are stuck at home right now, and that's probably a good thing. I don't want you going out and running around too much. But what can you do to, as far as lifestyle to keep yourself healthy right now? So first off, it's exercise. And I know since this crisis has begun, I've been walking around the block almost every day, one or two times, taking my dog for a walk or just walking with my family. And it's getting us outside, assuming we're not in groups, and I'm not, um, much more often. And I think it's very important. In addition, I've been doing much more regular exercise in my own home. I have a small gym at the house. I use the elliptical trainer. I've been using uh, the treadmill and also doing some isot isometrics, uh, some weights, some push-ups, sit-ups, um, and various other things as well. So I want you to make sure you're doing something every day, at least five to six days a week. First of all, stretching every morning when you get up is a good thing to do. Three to five minutes of stretching in the morning. And if you want to do another three to five minutes later in the day, especially late in the afternoon, is a good policy or a good habit to get into because it keeps us limber and it prevents us from being fatigued and tired. Also, doing at least 30 minutes of some form of activity or exercise five to six days a week is also advisable. The next thing I want you to make sure you're doing is get involved in some type of relaxation or meditation. Now, some people get scared they, heard that, they hear that word meditation. So if you're not sure what to do, just a very simple thing you can do on your own, I'll show you what to do right now. And that is simply take a deep breath in through your nose for about four seconds. Hold it if you can for at least four seconds and breathe out for about eight seconds if you can. Now, it may take some practice doing this. You should do this in a dark, sort of uh, dimly lit room, doesn't have to be pitch black, room that's quiet without people, with nobody around if possible. So let's do a couple breaths. So we just simply, it's good to either stare at something on the wall or stare at the floor or just close your eyes if you have to. So you take a breath in through the nose, four seconds, hold for four seconds. You can hold, if you can hold for seven, it's even better, but I, have, I struggle with that myself. And then blow out for about eight seconds through the mouth. So once again, I won't speak this time. It's going to be in for four through the nose, hold for four to seven if you can, and blow out for eight through the mouth. So simply... And then repeat it. And while you're doing this, totally relax your body. Sit in a comfortable chair or lay on the floor and tell yourself to relax all the muscles throughout your body. Start with the head, go down to your toes. The muscles of the jaw, the mouth, the tongue should all be completely relaxed. There should be no tension on any of the shoulder joints, any shoulder muscles, the hips, the feet, the ankles, the knees, or anywhere else in the body. If you feel your muscles tightening up, just say to yourself, let it go again. Relax it. And they should all be completely limp. So once again, do your deep breathing along with the muscle relaxation every day. If you can, start doing five minutes in the morning and five minutes before bedtime. If you get used to doing that, I think it'll be a very good thing for you. It helps reduce the stress on the body. And we know now that the immune system does respond to relaxation techniques. It's also very important to do some positive thinking. Uh, you know, everyone's feeling down in the dumps a little bit, but it's very important that you think about positivity and love and laughter. And um, everything doesn't have, you know, get away from the fear and the pessimism that so many people are fear feeling right now. So our thought process is very important, and it does, re it does shape how we, how we act, and how we feel throughout the day. So positive thinking is very good, um, important for us. You know, if you're, if you're infected with the COVID virus, um, picture or do some imagery where you picture like Pac-Man and your white cells gobbling up these viruses and destroying them. The next thing, number four here, is optimal sleep. It's very important during times of stress, during times of infection prevention, that we try to get extra sleep, extra rest. So try to get at least seven and a half, if you can, eight hours at night to get appropriate sleep and it should be good quality sleep as well. Um, make sure you turn off the computer at least an hour before bedtime because that adds too much activity to our brains. And also try to turn off your cell phones in advance as well, at least an hour, um, and try to turn off the Wi-Fi in your house if you can. 
Um, that's a whole other area, but I think the, the less Wi-Fi uh, exposure we have, the better it is. And then we want to make sure you, you limit your alcohol intake. Um, these times people, you know, sometimes lean towards alcohol a little bit too much, but it can be a suppressant or a depressant for the immune system. So you don't want to drink too much alcohol. Of course, we want you not to, to smoke. We don't want you to be exposed to people who are smoking cigarettes either. So that goes kind of without saying. So these are my five, these are my five point plan um, to help you with lifestyle modifications. Um, next time we speak, I'm going to talk to you about some of the supplements that I think can be very helpful for you to keep your immune system strong as well. So stay well, stay healthy, and I look forward to talking to you once again.